Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about how to deploy LAPS via Intune and Azure Active Directory. started with LAPS, the first thing that we need to do is we need to make a setting in Azure Active Directory, Enter ID, whatever they're calling it these days, right? Um, so down here in our Enter portal, enter.microsoft.com, we're going to open up Devices. We're going to go to our Overview. And there's a little button in here for Device Settings. Down here in our device settings, under our local administrator settings, we're going to enable Azure AD local administrator password solution. We're going to hit save. All right, so now that has activated the option for LAPS on the tenant. We need to pivot over here to our endpoint uh, portal, which is endpoint.microsoft.com, and then we're going to switch over to endpoint security. And as I mentioned in the last video, um, this is going to be under account protection. LAPS is actually an account protection policy. So let's select our platform, which is Windows 10 and Windows LAPS. MDE.LAPS.Windows. I'm going to back up the password to Azure AD only. We are going to make it a complex password. Uh -huh, password length. I'm going to make it 25 characters. And we don't want to reboot. I'm going to reset the password on expiration. I'm going to hit next. And then we're going to scope this to our default group. All right, now we got the policy created. Go ahead and run a synchronization on the device. Give it a few minutes to run its course, and then we'll check back and verify that the LAPS password is saved to Azure AD. All right, so it took a little bit for that to kick in. The sync cycle can take some time. Uh, but if we go into the actual policy, we can see that it has succeeded on one device. If we look at the uh, per setting status, we can see all the settings were successful. And alternatively, we can go into the device here and click into it and see that all the different individual settings were successful as well. And then now that we have that, we can navigate from Intune and Entra. This is probably a good point. From both Intune and Entra, you can actually get to the LAPS password. So if we go through on endpoint.microsoft.com, we'll go to all devices. And then we'll click into this device. Select local admin password, and we can see it here. So click this, you can log in, do what you need to do, and once you're done, it'll reset it. Uh, similarly, over here in the Entra portal, we can go to that device, we can go to the local administrator password, and we can see it there as well. So that's how you deploy LAPS. It's a much, much better solution than Having individual unmanaged passwords, um, it's also a much better solution than doing batch jobs where you have like the same password on hundreds or thousands of machines, even if you rotate them periodically. Having an automated system that'll put a unique password, in this case 25 characters, really complex, a unique individual password on each individual machine, and then you have a console that you can grab those one by one when you need them is much closer to least privilege than some of those other methods. So I hope that you've learned a little bit about LAPS. Uh, I highly recommend implementing this in your environment. As you'll see on the next video when we go through vulnerability management, this is a secure score recommendation. Um, so if you want to actually get that on your secure score, this is what you need to do. So catch you in the next video.